Media TV, an indie retailer source to using online tools to drive offline foot traffic and sales. I'm Crystal Vilkaitis, and recently I asked on my Facebook page, what is your biggest challenge when it comes to social media? And I had a few people say that they had a hard time finding engaging posts or posting stuff that their audience found engaging, found interesting, and they actually liked, commented, or shared. And there's a few things that do go into getting people to actually engage with your post. First is just posting engaging content. Uh, but the other is to actually be seen by them. Because by Facebook's algorithm, Edrink, not everybody sees your post. So they encourage you to do some promoted posts, which gives you the opportunity to be seen by more of your likes, as well as their friends. But today's video, I wanted to focus on some places and some information to post that will be engaging to your audience. Often we have the hardest time finding sources to post content from. And you might spend a while just Googling, trying to find some stuff, or just sitting at your computer trying to figure out what the heck to say. So here's a few places for you to find engaging content. Look and see if your city, town, wherever you're located has an events calendar. Anything that's going on in your local community could be a great thing for you to talk about on your social media platforms. You can see what's going on this week, this whole month, the weekend, and see if you can find information about your, your community, like the history. Maybe there's some fun facts. Maybe there's like must-do things. Post those about your location to participate in the local conversation and give the locals something to engage with. Local news stories can be another thing that people will absolutely engage with, especially if it's breaking news or laws that might be passed. I will say that you just want to be cautious here that you're not getting into any kind of political conversation or anything that can get heated or very opinionated, but you could be just sharing some of the things that are happening like stay off of Highway 5 because it's closed down due to a major accident. Or, did you hear about the new restaurant that's opening in this part of town? We can't wait to try it out. Things like that. Depending on the kind of products that you sell in your store, you'll want to be the expert. You'll want to talk about trends in your industry. So things like fashion, color, home decor, um, accessories, things that go together. What kinds of tips and trends can you share that is based off of the types of products that you sell that somebody could read and actually learn something from it and maybe even implement into their home or their wardrobe? Another thing to do is just take a look around you. Um, you know, if you're drinking a certain soda or you have a coffee drink that you drink every single morning out of the same exact mug, I would take a picture of that, post it to Facebook, Instagram, maybe Pinterest, and say, you know, I use this mug every day. It's my favorite. Do you have a favorite mug? Something that really can connect with people personally. You might take a look around of where you are, let's say you're standing in line or you're out to dinner somewhere, you can take a picture of a cool sign that you see or a quote. If there's a pet, if you yourself have your pet in your store, take a picture. Get involved with more of the humanized side of a brand, things you're doing. Now, of course, that kind of stuff works really well for Instagram, but it also works great for Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter, too. So instead of like going out there to search for content and tips, just take a look around you and see if maybe there's a great, um, great accessories that you have, or you put on a funky, cool wardrobe, or of a customer who has just like a great hairstyle or great fashion or they're wearing something really funny because they're on their way to an 80s party. Um, things like that that kind of happen in real time that is just around you in your world. Take a picture, upload that to your network, and I guarantee you'll see some engagement out of posts like that. Postplanner.com has become one of my most favorite tools. You can add this to your page, add the application to your page, and they have ideas that you can just select from a drop down menu. So you can say questions, they have fill in the blanks, they have um, deep thoughts, what they call, they've got quotes, stuff like that that you select your category and they're gonna give you three different options to choose from that you could use on your Facebook profile, on your Facebook page. I suggest using these in between your personal posts, your brand posts, some of your own tips, questions that you're asking. 
But of course, you can use Post Planner for some of those questions or some of those even just brainstorming ideas of what you want to post on your Facebook page. What's also great about Post Planner is you can schedule the posts. So not only are they giving you ideas, but you can schedule them to go out on your page. So let's say that you sit down for two hours, you select 20 different ideas that you want to post to your page, and you schedule them to go out over the next 20 days. You're set up for success for those 20 days on your Facebook page. And finally, the good old Almanac. Almanac.com has all sorts of information, like the best days to do all sorts of different stuff. They've got astrology and horoscopes in there. They've got cooking and recipes. They've got all sorts of quirky holidays that can be really fun to promote and play with on your, on your social media outlets. So use Almanac.com to even generate some ideas for you on what to say to engage with your audience. The key to any marketing, whether it's online, print, mobile, email, anything marketing related, the key is to speak to your customer. So you might post things that you think are interesting or helpful or funny, but if you yourself are not your target audience for your store, then the people might not engage with what you think is funny or helpful. So you want to be in the mind of your customer. You want to picture your perfect customer in your head. How old are they? Maybe you know this person by name. Do they have a family or not? Do they have pets? Um, do they travel? What kinds of things are they into? Where, where do they work? What do they do for a living? How much do they make? What kinds of magazines do they read? Everything like that you want to take a look at. And what, I, and what you're doing is what I call customer profiling. You're really figuring out what your avatar looks like, your perfect customer looks like, so you can market to them and you can easily find information that they would find valuable. For my Social Edge members, I have a customer profiling worksheet for you where I ask different questions and you go through and fill those out based off of your customer and it's really going to give you a clear idea of who your customer looks like and where you can find content and what they would be interested and engaged with that you can then use for any of your marketing, whether it's online, print, mobile, email, etc. So if you are a Social Edge member, be sure to download that worksheet. Fill it out. I strongly suggest to take an hour or two to really fill it out to really uncover who your customer is and then start talking to your customer on your networks. If you found this video helpful, please forward it to your retailer friends. Please leave a comment below, especially if you have any questions. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the week. Welcome to Crystal Media TV, an indie retailer source to using online tools to drive offline fa- <laughs>